Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to make the leaves of a tree move in Unreal Engine. So right now I have this mesh with the tree, so I have the trunk and the leaves, but you can see it's pretty static right now. So if I go into play mode, if I look at this tree like nothing is really happening, like it's just not moving. So there's a simple way to do that in Unreal Engine. What you need to do is to go into the material for the leaves that you have, and you're gonna create a new node, and you're gonna look for grass, and you should have an option that appears that's uh, called a simple grass wind. And you need to connect this into the world position offset. So the world position offset in the material determines uh, the position of um, the object in the world. If you change the values of the world position offset, it's going to move the mesh, or should I say the material in this case, uh, towards the position you choose. And the simple grass wind node is here to help you have some movement in the world position offset that is close to what uh, grass looks like when there's wind and this also applies for leaves. So right now when I'm connecting it I can see I have an error is because I need three different values I need the wind intensity, the wind weight and the additional world position offset. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create three variables. I'm going to look for constant or you could just press one on your keyboard and click and I will plug all of those into those three different nodes. And what you want to have is probably have some more values. So in this case, I want to have 0.2 for the wind intensity. And also 0.2 for the wind weight. And for the additional point of view, I can leave it at zero. And you can see already that right here, the material is moving. So if I apply, go back into my scene, I can see that there's some movement on the leaves. The movement is very slow, so I'm just going to change my presets to have higher values, like 0 0.5, and here 0 0.5 too. Can I apply? And if I go into my scene, we can see that the leaves are moving, like if there's wind. So you can play around. You can also have you can also add a value for wind speed, and you can have a different value for additional wall position offset. So you just have to play around those values to find something that matches what you want. And that's pretty much it. So see you in the next video.